Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to create this little sales badge text right here. Really cool little effect. We're using the Divi Supreme Modules plugin for this and it's called a badge text this module. Really easy to do so let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I'll put a row in right here. I'm going to put in a single row with a single column. Now Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules. And these dark blue purple modules are from the Divi Supremes modules. And if you want to take that plug in for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's go down to our Supreme text badge. There it is. And as you can see it puts in a title with a badge behind it. And say all clothes. And for the badge text itself, what's actually inside the badge, let's say on sale. Now you can have it afterwards or you can have it before. Let's put ours before. Let's go to our styling. Let's go over to design. And we'll go to our main text. And let's make our main text blue perhaps make it capitalized, make it a bit bigger. We're just going to stand out nicely. There we go. And you can go down to your badges text. Change the background color. For me that's going to work fine actually. And the color of the text itself is fine. The gap, you can have a larger gap between the end of the pink there and the beginning of the writing by just sliding this up if you want to. Like I say, the text color for the badge itself is absolutely fine. So is the letter spacing. You can take it up some if you want to spread that out some. Don't want any text shadow on there today or rounded corners. If you want to make your badge more pill shaped, you can put in sort of 50 pixels and that should make it pill shaped. Just make sure you've got this link checked and it'll do all four at once for you. But I don't today. I'm going to leave mine on zero. And we can give it a border, we can give it a, a blue border or whatever color border you want. Select the color and choose how deep you want your border. Really simple to do. And I'm going to put a bit of box shadow on the bottom of this module. There we go. I think I'll extend it a bit on the right by giving it a little bit of space. So on design, let's go up to space. And just on the right hand side, I'll give it say 20 pix padding. Fantastic. And let's make that background a sort of light blue. So if we go back to our content, go to background, select the blue color and take the opacity down so we can see our writing through it. Something like that. And let's perhaps pop it in the middle. So we'll go to the text and hit the align middle. And there we go. It's in the middle. All right, well, let's make it actually link to something, shall we? So let's go to our link. And this is where you put it under content. I'm going to say hashtag, and then I'll give a section below a CSS ID that we can scroll to. I'll say uh, C sale, close sale. So C sale. Now let's make something, give it that ID so it's got somewhere to scroll to. Here we go. Let's make this row the C sale. So I'm going to go into the row. You can do this on a module, you can do it onto a section, wherever you need to do it. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to CSS ID and classes. And the ID is what we want to give what we just put after that hashtag. So it's C sale. 
Let's save this. Let's save our page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. Let's go down to where we just made that little badge text right here. And let's see if it's going to link to our little close section. There we go, and it takes us straight down there. That's handy, that's nice. It's going to stand out nicely on your website and really easy to do. So they've done a great job with that, the Supreme plugin modules. Well done. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.